basic laboratory techniques. Bunsen burner We require a Bunsen burner and a spark lighter. Take a spark lighter. Turn the gas on and light the burner. A non-luminous flame is produced on closing the air hole of the burner by rotating the air adjusting disc a luminous flame is produced on opening the air hole of the burner a non-luminous flame is produced bending a glass tube we require a bunsen burner glass tube and a glazed tile take a glass tube Hold the glass tubing between the thumb and the fingers. Introduce it lengthwise into the non-luminous flame of the burner. Keep the tube rotating till it softens. Apply gentle pressure so that it bends by itself. Remove the tubing from the flame. Place the bent limb on the glazed tile and press it gently so as to make it coplanar. Allow the tubing to cool. Cutting a glass tube Take a glass tube. Place it on the table. Hold it firmly and make a single deep scratch with a triangular file. Place the thumbs on each side of the scratch at equal distances from it and with pressure give a quick bending motion until it breaks smoothly. Thus, we got two tubes from a single tube. Drawing a glass jet. We require Bunsen burner, a glass tube of required length and triangular file. Take a glass tube of required length. Hold it with both hands. Place it lengthwise in flame. Keep rotating the tube till it softens. Take the tubing out of the flame and gently pull the two ends in the opposite directions. The middle portion is drawn out to a thickness of about 2 mm. Allow the tubing to cool. Hold it firmly and make a single deep scratch on the narrow portion with the triangular file. Place the thumbs on each side of the scratch at equal distances from it and with gentle pressure, give a quick bending motion until it breaks smoothly. Finally, round the ends of the jets by heating in the flame for a short time. Thus, we got two glass jets from a delivery tube. Wash Bottle Fill a flat bottom flask of 500 ml with distilled water. An appropriate cork with two bores is fitted into it. One tube which bends at an angle of 60 degrees is passed through one of the bore in the cork. Then pass another tube which bends at an angle of 120 degrees through other bore in the cork. On blowing out air through the tube which bends at an angle of 120 degrees, a stream of water comes out from the other tube. On tilting the flask and blowing out air through the tube which bends at an angle of 60 degrees, a little larger amount of water comes out from the other tube. Boring a cork Softening of the cork Take a cork and dip it in water until it becomes flexible. Take the cork from water. Wrap the cork in a filter paper. Place the wetted cork in a cork presser and press it to soften it. Thus, the cork is softened. Boring of the cork Place the cork on the table with its narrow end upward. Mark the position of the hole on both the sides of the cork with a pencil. Take a borer and place it on the mark on the cork. Apply force downwards on the borer and twist it at the same time. The cork is bored from one end to the other. Fitting a glass tube in the bore. Dip the bored cork in water. Take a glass tube and wet the end of the tube with water. 
insert their tube into the bore by rotating it.